So in 2022, we ran an international study. This international study was called the Next Gen Cybersecurity Auditors. You can actually go Google it on Google Scholar. Now, we had 216 participants, 108 of those were IT auditors, the other 108 were subject matter experts, and these were cybersecurity professionals, IT professionals, as well as people who implement technology. Now, we discovered that 151,000 IT auditors in the big four, as well as big tech, so that's Amazon, Google, that's going to be Deloitte, KPMG, and so forth, they have a significant knowledge gap between their theoretical knowledge, which is the book knowledge, and their practical skills. Now, when we talk about practical skills, that's dealing with audit tasks, like interpreting technical evidence and identifying control risks and suggesting the appropriate controls. Now, the issue with this finding is that these gaps actually influence data breach likelihood. And so what we did is we had the assessment questions and they were associated with the top notable breaches in the US history. So that could be the Equifax breach, could be the Uber data breach, as well as the Marriott data breach as well. So as, as auditors, we have a negative 17% decrease from book knowledge to demonstrable skill, actually being able to perform the task on the job description. And what this means is that eight out of 10 IT auditors have trouble interpreting technical evidence and identifying the safeguards that reduce data breach likelihood. Now, as IT auditors, we often serve as the third line of defense and we have to check behind the technology implementers. However, let's take a look at the technology implementers. If we look at our SMEs, even though they implement technology, they had a negative 26% decrease from book knowledge to actual demonstrable skill. So what does this tell us? Now this tells us that although we have 930 plus certifications, over 56 vendors, over 85% of those only focus on book knowledge, theoretical skill, the scenarios, and they do that through multiple choice exams. Now think about it. To protect our nation against international cyber threats, we're going to need to adopt a common framework and prioritize virtual and fictitious training scenarios and environments that allow us to verify our hands-on skills, not just book knowledge.